The pod system of COVID testing is meant to have really high throughput so that we're able to easily process hundreds of thousands of samples and turn around samples back to patients in a very short amount of time. The great thing about POD is also that it's a modular system, so as we continue to scale this up, all it will take is adding more liquid handlers and another person. Samples are collected from a patient with a interior nasal swab, which is just going around the inside of the nose. The samples are brought to the road and they go through receipt and sessioning. The step of linking a physical sample to the patient's information is incredibly important so that we can make sure that at the end, when we have results and we're delivering them back to the patient, that they're getting delivered to the right patient. They go on to our team of process development associates, which are then gonna take the samples from the addition of the lysis buffer all the way through extraction and qPCR. So the first step of that process is adding lysis buffer, which is really great because it completely negates the danger of the virus. So the lysis buffer will release all the RNA from the cells, making it so that there is no chance of any of us contracting COVID-19. Then they are taken and put onto a shaker, which incubates and shakes the tubes for 20 minutes, which allows all of the viral RNA from the swabs that they've been collected on to be released into that lysis buffer. That 384 plate will then go onto the liquid handler to go through the extraction process. And that extraction process, which is the step of this entire thing that allows us to isolate any of the viral RNA that a patient may have indicating that they have COVID. After samples are extracted, they go onto another automated liquid handler that will take the samples and put them into a mass mix plate, which is then loaded onto a real-time qPCR machine. QPCR machines are running a real-time QPCR assay that detects the presence of a particular section of the COVID genome. So when the COVID genome is present in these samples, the signal intensity increases and you get a positive result for the test. Originally, we were doing 96 samples in one go. Now doing 384, we're able to quadruple our throughput, which will allow us to streamline this and keep up with the demand as it's coming in the door.